Hi, in this video I'll show you how to create this effect using GIMP. I'm going to use this image and info about the images that I use you can find in the description. So let's close this and get started. First thing I want to do is scale the image down. I'm doing this to save memory and perform actions faster but if you do this yourself keep the image the way it is because that way the final result will be higher quality. So let's get started by choosing the scale tool, click, then click on this chain to keep the aspect ratio and I'm going to divide this by 3, then click scale. Next I'll go to image, fit canvas to layers and zoom in a little bit. Next I want to flip the image, so I'll select the flip tool and click. Next I'll go to the image menu and choose canvas size. And here on the height I'm going to add 130 pixels, click enter, then the offset Y, again I'll type 130 pixels, click enter, and then resize. Next I'll go to layer, layer to image size, then I'll grab the rectangle select tool, make a selection and I'll go to edit, fill with background color, then Control shift a to deselect. Now all this may not be necessary depending on the image that you're working with and also it may not be possible, here in this image the sky is white, that's what made it easier. So I did this to make the effect work better with this image. Now let's continue with adding some guides. Click on the ruler, hold down the mouse button and drag. Let's add another one. Then I'll drag from the horizontal ruler. And one more. Next I'll grab the free select tool and I'm going to click over here, then click here, here, here and I'm going to close the selection, then hit Control i to invert the selection, then the delete key and Control shift a to deselect. Next I'll go to the image menu, guides, remove all guides. I'll select the eraser tool, adjust the size of the brush, then choose the anti-erase option and I'll start painting to uncover this guy's face. Don't worry if you go outside, just make sure we don't have any transparency on his face. So after we do this, I'm going to deselect the anti erase option and zoom in, make the brush smaller and start erasing. If you make a mistake and erase part of the face, you can uh, use Control Z, but if you notice it later, you can always turn on the anti-erase option and uh, paint back the face. So this is going to take a while. That's why I'm going to pause here. All you need to do is use a fuzzy brush, adjust the size of the brush when it's necessary. If you go too far, use the anti-erase option until you manage to remove the background from uh, this part of the face. I'll pause here now to do it and you see how the image looks now. I'm going to continue in part 2 of this tutorial, link will be in the description as soon as the video is uploaded and that's it for this one, bye.